Hello and welcome back to Dim Media's coverage of the Handmade Festival. I'm joined today by Tom Cora. Hello, hello, Tom. Hello, hey, Tom. How's it, how's it going? <laughs> it, it was it fine. Yes. Yeah. Good. How's the good. festival for you so far? Well, the, the only bit I've seen the festival was the comedy stuff last night mm -hmm. in St Martin's Square, and that was really good actually. Good. Yeah, yeah. So enjoyed that. Yeah, you've got yeah. a, a Mike Ashley has a question. Now oh. I understand yesterday you attended <laughs> an Academics Anonymous meeting as, uh, as yeah, a part okay, of your comedy okay. set. Yeah. Do you want to explain a little bit about that? Um, well, I think you've explained it. It's, it's well, just your, your support just group for academics. That as, as far as it yeah, it's, it's a torturous <laughs> lifestyle that can lead to, to ruin and, and wreck. And so it's good to be able to talk about this with, with fellow people. So it's very therapeutic. Good. That's nice. Yeah. Good. Did you want a more serious answer about what I actually did? It's up to you. Very oh. Right. Let's get some serious stuff in, because you're going to hit me with non-serious stuff. Probably. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, so um, as, as you know, I, I did some comedy a little while ago for Bright Club, which is this thing where they get lecturers to, to do comedy based on their research. And that, that was fine, I, I did that, and everyone in the audience knows that's what the score is, that you're a lecturer doing something based on, on your research. Hmm. Um, and then six weeks ago I did a, not a proper comedy gig, yeah, Bright Club's proper as well. But I, I did a normal comedy gig and I thought, well, nobody's going to know. I can't just do the same set again because no one's going to know that I'm a lecturer. It'd just be weird going straight into that. So I need to have something just at the start to, to allude to that. And then that became the whole set, which was this <laughs> idea of me getting up and, and telling my story at some Academics Anonymous meeting, which sounds very dry and dull, but actually... It works. I think there's probably right. a lot of people up and down the country in need of a, an Academics Anonymous. Yeah. <laughs> yes, there are. I know a few. Me, that's one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. So you've got a gig later on, haven't you? Is that yourself yeah. or is that with your band? That's with the band. That's band. with the band. Because I've been doing music for ages and ages and ages. The comedy's mm -hmm. new. So yeah, gig later with, with Chimes. Which cool. is very, uh, very loose and non-formed and non-thought non out. Well, should we bring Bob in and we'll have a, a little chat about the band? Yeah, let's, let's, let's get Bob in. This is Bob from Chimes, which is Tom Cora's band. Hi, Bob. Hello. 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 You all right? Hello. 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 It's cozy, it's very isn't cozy, it? isn't it? You didn't plan for this, did you? Yeah, I did. Yeah. You did uh, plan for this. this oh. plan. I need like a sofa extension. Right. Like just a yeah, yeah. that would be cool. It's a it button, is a secret button. It's yeah. Star Wars sofa. It is May the fourth. May the fourth be with you and all of that. Star Wars day. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well done. Thank you. Yeah. Got that in. So yeah. describe the band. What are you guys like? What's your genre? Well, I've answered all the questions so far. Yeah. You're lazy. Yeah. You just, well, I just peered. <laughs> uh, you described it as doom jazz, didn't you? Well, originally. Yeah, originally, yeah. yeah. Originally, that was the yeah the plan. I don't know how on board with that mm. you and Andy were. It's more, it's like more, a bit more electric, acoustic now, isn't it? You're making it sound like a guitar based folk. Yeah, not really electric, electronic, electronic doom. It's, it's not, it's, it's, not. it's a, it's a bit, yeah, like free form and then yeah. makes noise and there's stuff that's not yeah. noise. Yeah. And the stuff that is noise. Yeah. There are instruments in it. Yeah, yeah. the yeah. instruments are good. We could say Which what instruments are in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right. Yeah. Are there any chimes? Um, no. Why? What? No, that doesn't make any sense. Do we know? Oh, we could do one gig where we all just play chimes. We could do, yeah. You really should do. Yeah. Some, some, people, like some people might feel that they've been misled. <laughs> <laughs> I might be one of them. If you went to a gig to see Fleet Foxes, would you be disappointed when there weren't any Navy-based foxes? Yes! Uh, <laughs> of course! What kind of a question? Wouldn't you be? If you've got an option, if you're going to a well, gig and you're okay. expecting a chance of naval foxes, and then it's there a, are none. It's a case of whether you'd be expecting them or not. And yeah. well, you would be. I would. I, I would think it was just a name that's and the not mistake, a description. That's the mistake you're making. Raise your hopes and uh, great things will happen. Okay. It's a good job you didn't carry on with the mechanical, mechanical kamikaze <laughs> horn. Kamikaze yeah. wasps. <laughs> 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 they would be expecting the mechanical kamikaze wasps on stage. <laughs> now that would be worth considering. It could be, yeah. yeah. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> what is it you guys have got planned for your set today? Well, that's, there's um, nothing planned, is hmm, there? No, we've got like a very, very loose structure, haven't we? Have we? In the loose <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, see, it's, it's a bit weird because we, we started off... 
Well, it, it started last year as Chocolate Limes. Mm. I had another band, Katsu Fish, and we had a gig where half the people couldn't make it. And so we just thought, oh, we'll, we'll just improvise some weird stuff. Um, and that kind, of, that kind of worked out. Yeah. Then we realised Chocolate Limes was a terrible name. <laughs> So we got rid of a lot of the letters and made chimes. Yeah. Okay, oh. that's cool. That's where chimes comes from. Mm, I get it. Yeah. yeah. Like so nothing to do with speak. like an allusion to chimes. Just no. Just a truncated name. No, and I hadn't considered the kind of false advertising angle of that. Actually. <laughs> got it. Maybe you should put like a little description at the bottom. Small print. No chimes. In no chimes. Thing, yeah. Much. Until until you decide yeah. to do your chime set, and then yeah. it will be chimes. <laughs> yeah. Now yeah. with chimes. All, ch- <laughs> all chimes. <laughs> all chimes. Yeah. All the time. <laughs> oh yeah. You've even got a bit of a rhyme going on. Yeah, yeah. that's a nice little. Way. I can't remember what the question was. Yeah. Was there a question? Is there a question? Uh, there, uh, there might have been one know, in there somewhere. Um, what's coming up for the band then? Like, have you got anything coming well, out? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I was, I was having a chat to uh, to a friend last night about, it, and he was saying, "Well, have you got any recordings or merch or anything?" That sounded incredibly organised. I said, "No, we haven't got anything. Uh, we've got a load of loose recordings from a mic in the room at, at practice." Mm-hmm. And we've got an offer to go and record at a cool studio in Nottingham. Oh, okay. um, but the idea that this guy had <laughs> was that he would just come along... <laughs> is, this, is this a band meeting now? Yeah. We've, we've got news, yeah. we've got uh, a plan for tonight and... Uh, okay, yeah. carry on. Right. By the way, are you free next month? Yeah. Um, and, and his suggestion was that he would just record it on his mobile and then put it out as a bootleg. And so in 20 years' time, a whole back catalogue could just all be sketchy bootlegs <laughs> recorded on phones from gigs. That could be. And I quite like that. Cool. I think that fits yeah. in with the kind of the musical yeah, ethos the least, of what, what we're doing. The looseness of our yeah. style, yeah. yeah. So no, we haven't got any recordings? No. Okay. Or well, anything. the final thing I'm wondering about is how you two maintain your beards. I mean, it's, um, they're quite good. Yeah. As is yours. Thanks. So you should know. Well, unless you just fluked it, yeah, which is kind of, kind of fluked it. I just did yeah. Easter and didn't yeah. shave, so nice. Okay, yeah, no, okay. One, no one compliment my beard. It's fine. I'm well, not. it's coming on, isn't it? Yeah, it's getting there. Okay. <laughs> Come back to it in a couple of weeks. You All right, I'll see where you are. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know. A fortnightly trim. Yeah. Okay. It's low maintenance, isn't it? A beard, and that's mm. the part of the beauty of it. Yeah, got a grow back at home. Like a you got a growth <laughs> The daily fertiliser routine. <laughs> just go to bed at night with your beard just resting in the... <laughs> one, one thing that I did for a little it's while, wondered. when my beard was kind of like yours actually, Mike, right. was I got a bit despairing because it wasn't going any longer. So I went down to the fishing shop and got those little like plum weight things and tied one onto the end of each hair. <laughs> And then spent four days lying flat on a table with my head up off the end. That'd be a bit, of a, coming down. bit of a Jack Sparrow thing going <laughs> yeah. on there, really. Well, that's where he got it from. Right, yeah. Actually. Yeah. Did uh, this off you? Sorry? Did he nick the idea off you? Yeah, because this, I did a pic, I like blogged it, because you do now, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Uh, so I blogged it, and then that picture appeared on this website all about uh, beards of post rock. Um, <laughs> I, I know the site, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's good actually. There's yeah, really good beards yeah. on it. But it appeared on that, and obviously, um, Jack Sparrow, big post rock fan, um, yeah. and picked this up, and he thought, yeah, I'm going to do that. I can make that piratey. Yeah, add a few beads. Yeah, and he did. And I think the beads, beads are what do it. I mean, That's, without yeah. the beads, it just looks like a man with weights hanging off his beard. It with, might be a really keen fisherman, though. <laughs> That's true. You could. Because you'd be. Dip your you'd beard just in be a river making your rig up, and then you just go. And then put your weight on them. That'd be handy, actually, wouldn't it? Convenient. But you pull the head Yeah, out, well, you? if you put hooks on the beard. Just dip your head in the water. Yeah. yeah. Room. Yeah, I've got one. And then your beard would get longer because the fish would try and swim the mm. other way and pull your hair out. <gasps> Genius. Right. Is that, I, like I don't think that's how it works, to be honest. Pretty sure. Yeah. Well, you guys have been fishing. Anyway, you, so. you I've never been fishing, no. How do you know? I just don't. That can work. Oh, I'm going to have to give that a go then. That can work. I like with the fish, get them working yeah. for you. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. What if, how do you get them to swing away? You need to scare them somehow. Well, wear a shark mask. Yes. Yes. Okay. Bearded shark mask. But the shark and mask. <laughs> but the shark <laughs> mask can't be all the time. Otherwise, they never come and grab one in the first place. Well, exactly. So and it can't. Got... It can't be a full. Sh- it needs to be like one of the masquerade masks, because otherwise, mm. your beard isn't exposed, is it? And then no, that, that defeats the whole object. That's so, true. Yeah. So bearded shark, mask shark. That just comes down like that and leaves a bit exposed. But it has to be something where, until the fish is on there, it needs to look alluring. So like a big piece of food. <laughs> I see what you did there. And you're yeah. yeah, yeah. It's not really a joke so much as just the origins of the words. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs>
And then when the fish are on, it flips to, that's what I was thinking, it flips to the shark and they go, ah, and they swim away and make your beard longer. Mm. Cool. Beard growth 2.0. Well, good luck yeah. with your set later, guys. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think we'd better draw this to a close. Because we've been doing it for quite a while. But thanks a lot for coming down. Pleasure. Um, it has pleasure. been a genuine pleasure having you here. So yeah, thank you thanks me. a lot. Cheers. We'll see you soon, guys. Bye-bye. 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 <laughs> Done.